Do you know what a TOS wallet is? Well, I'm gonna tell you what a TOS wallet is right now and how spies use it, and you may want one too. My name is Jason Hansen, I'm a former CIA officer, and I might know a thing or two about TOS wallets. So here's the deal, what is a TOS wallet? Well, it is essentially a dummy wallet. So it's a wallet you carry around that is gonna have some cash in it, maybe $1 bills, maybe $5 $1 bills, it's gonna have some expired credit cards, credit cards you no longer need or use, can have some other fake documents. If you work for the government, you may have a lot of fake documents, maybe yes or no. Um, I even have a buddy of mine, and I'm not saying you should do what I'm about to tell you, that he has credit cards that he calls them, you know, he gets his credit card, and then he calls the company and cancels them and says they were stolen. That way, if somebody goes to try to use it, if heaven forbid he ever had to use his TOS wallet, they would be reported as stolen. Again, not saying you're supposed to do that, or I recommend doing that. So if you're traveling overseas, I highly recommend having a TOS wallet. And when I'm here in the US, to be honest, I don't really uh, I don't really like wallets, meaning I've got cash in a money clip, my CIA money clip, obviously not. When I overse uh, go overseas, do I take this? And I have my credit cards kind of rolled up like this. But when I'm going overseas, I do use my actual wallet and it is a TOS wallet. So here's a, I guess, a funny story because my, my buddy was fine. But a buddy of mine who is also a former CI officer, one time he was overseas on an operation, I can't go into the operation, but he was casing an area and it was a rather dangerous area. And before you know it, three guys were after him and they were trying to rob him. Now, my buddy is very, very well trained. He would probably have no problem at all taking care of these three guys, but it's better to be safe than sorry because criminals can get lucky. You never know what's gonna happen. So he take out, took out his TOS wallet which had all fake information, you know, fake credit cards, nothing that led back to his alias or his true name. And he had a couple bucks in there. And as these guys were hassling about to rob him, he took his toss wallet, he just threw it at him and he ran. And these guys he saw, you know, were going after the wallet. And he was long gone out of there. He was able to take care of the operation and everything went as planned. But a toss wallet kept him out of having to fight with three guys, having to deal with these guys. So if you live in an area, maybe Baltimore City, which I lived for several years when my wife was in law school, if you live in St. Louis, Detroit, Chicago, any of these dangerous areas, I would recommend having a TOS wallet because of course, throwing away a fake wallet with $5 and $1 bills is much, much better than getting in a fight than having to deal with you know criminals who might have a gun, knife, et cetera, et cetera. So even though I'm very, very well trained myself, I'm still gonna always avoid a fight if I can. Now you know what a TOS wallet is, now you know how to easily put together one. Go to Walmart, Kmart, Kmart's still around, I think there's a few Kmarts, and buy a $10 wallet, put a few things in there, nothing fancy, that way you can toss it if, heaven forbid, you find yourself in a situation because it's always better to escape and evade than to get in a fight if need be. Again, my name is Jason Hansen. Make sure you click on the link below if you wanna know a few other spy secrets in addition to toss wallets. I hope you've learned a thing or two today. I hope you like, subscribe, and turn on that ring notification bell. God bless you, God bless your family, and I'm out of here.